Welcome, a typical Liberty City asshole. Excuse me. About me, boy. Get a skip on this little vessel. Pulling out at sea. This is the place. Escorting a Korean contact of mine into the country with a boatload of fake hundred-dollar bills. As long as the ones he's paying us with are real, it doesn't matter. I owe you an apology, Nico. I was dosed when you told me you killed Bucky and his boys. Yeah, you were out of it. I haven't felt safe since Aiden O'Malley went inside. Who's Aiden? Me, Bucky, and Aiden, we all cared about the same stuff. We came together for a cause we believed in. At least, I thought I believed in it. I was young. This was a while ago then. Yeah, so Aiden got caught with something when he was somewhere he wasn't meant to be. Needless to say, he'll be inside for a time. Him. And Bucky think I talk? Couldn't see no other way how he got caught. From what I hear, Aiden still rants about me to anyone who listens. I know how it feels. You Park's boy? Yes, I Kim. You Dedeku? Yeah, welcome to America. We're meeting your friends in Bohan. I'll text you the route you gotta take. Best way to avoid checks. We'll cover your rear. Another immigrant, arriving in this city, trying to make something of himself. Brings a tear to my eye. When this is done, I won't have to leech off my brothers no more. This deal should mean I can take care of myself. Providing it goes to plan. It's in the hands of the Lord now. What the fuck is this? Think I got a clue! Use our boat to shield Kim from these fuckers! I don't give a shit if this thing sinks! We gotta protect him! I'd rather swim home tonight than come back tomorrow to die for those notes! for a fix. I wouldn't know. Could be a coincidence anyway. Or fate. You sound like my mother.
Got him here in one piece. That was a deal. Thanks, Nico. Thank you, Mr. McCreary. Not such a smooth journey. Yeah, got a bit hairy out there. Good thing you have your sea legs. I hope the rest of your time here is more peaceful. That's all you can hope for in this godforsaken world. See you around, Nico. Don't put all the payoff up your arm, Derek. Only place for it, me boy. Only place for it. See you soon. I told you, leave me the fuck alone. Hey, Dexy! Take me to Vetulo Avenue. You got it. He don't want you to give it back to him, does he? Shit, no, that's cool. I was just telling him how, you know, you can make things happen. He's gonna be in touch with you about some cars he needs found, if you catch my meaning. Sure, I have an ability to find stuff, if the price is right. Give him my number. Fuck, man, you are the boy. I'll call Stevie. All right, boy? Yes. Good. How do you do it? I went into a situation full of optimism, full of naivete. I got burnt. Look at me. Like smack on a fucking spoon. Well... How do you manage? I don't know that I got off so lightly. Mm, uh, we all got our demons. Aiden O'Malley. What about Aiden O'Malley? I heard he's being moved. <clears throat> Maybe this is our time. Put all this crap to bed. Get off the drugs. Live with the memories. Aiden's being moved by Van from the bacon factory. He's been talking shit about me. Back to the Albany State Correctional Facility. Please, Nico, boy, just this last one. Please. Sure, Derek. You and me, we're the same. The same. The, the same. We're the same, you and me. Nico, I hear my brother Derek is asking you to ice his old drinking buddy Aiden O'Malley. Yeah, he has. What's the big deal? O'Malley is in government custody. He's got more police protection than the mayor. I left a truck with a rocket launcher in it for you in an alley off of Applewhite in Alderney City. A truck with a rocket launcher in it? What am I meant to do with them? Who knows? Anyway, the convoy with O'Malley in it has to go through the booth tunnel. You're gonna get there first and block the road with your truck. I'm gonna come in from the rear and block them that way. Pick up the truck and give me a call.
All right, I've got the truck. When we have him blocked in, we take down the escort and make off with the prisoner. Why don't we just kill the fucker there and then? That's probably what Derek would have told you to do in his smacked out state. Problem is, he's the first one they'd talk to if that happened. We gotta make this look like a prison break. Great, they're leaving the old cop shop now. Should be at the booth tunnel soon. I'm in position, Pecky. All right, man, we're coming to you. Take out the escort, but keep Derek's pal alive. What's this jerk think he's doing? Hey, Mitch, can you find out what this guy's up to? Liberty City's finest are just over there. We gotta lose this heat before we can send this fucker where he's going. Dispatch air unit from Purgatory. Christ! All right, all right, I'll try to lose these fucking cops.
Okay, man. First thing we got to do is dump this prison van. Cops will be looking. We've got some transport. You're not free yet, asshole. Get in that car. Okay, it looks like we've lost. Take us over to the cliffs in Leftwood. The cliffs of Leftwood, then. Is there a boat coming or something? Where am I going? You're going to a faraway place, my friend. Damn right! Somewhere the cops will never find me. Nobody's gonna find you where you're going, friend. Shit! I don't even know who sent you guys. Who do I got to thank for springing me from the joint? We're doing this on behalf of an old acquaintance of yours. I knew I wasn't forgotten about. I knew that no matter how long I rotted in there, people on the outside world still remember me. People remember you, all right. You're at the front of certain people's minds. Well, who is it? Not Julia. She stopped writing and coming on visiting days, but I could tell she was still thinking of me. I knew it. You'll find out who it was when we get there. In the meantime, shut the hell up, buddy. All right, friend. Thank you.
Out you come, old boy. The cliffs, the sea air. I really am free. I could cry. You've made me a happy man, boys. Now it's time to tell me who asked you to do this. Derek McCreary. He's my brother. Derek? But he ratted me out. He's the reason I ended up in that place to start with, the spineless... So you thought you'd talk about him? He's my brother, and guys like you are killing him. Nico, get ready, dear old Aiden. Aiden is dead. That's the end of a chapter. I can close the book on a whole lot of my past now, Nico. Thanks. Maybe a clean break is in order. A fresh beginning. Good luck to you. Okay, where to? I want to go to Savannah Avenue. Hey, okay, yet problem. Nico, it's Dimitri. I have nothing to say to you. I nearly ran into your cousin the other day. My friends were uh, hanging out with him. The party got busted up though before I got there. I wish you had been there. We could have had some fun. Not as much fun as I would have had with Roman, believe me. Okay, friend, here we are. Oh, there he is. <laughs> the sophisticated European. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so, how are you? All right, yeah. Cage, don't stand there talking to him on the doorstep. Ask him in. Oh, come in. Ma, you remember the boy's friend, Nico? How are you? Good, and you? Put it like this. My boys are out of control. My daughter can't find a man, and my husband is in hell. I'm thinking, God moves in mysterious ways. Oh, that's mother for you. Always a joy. <laughs> <laughs> Nico! You made it, huh? Well... I'll leave you to your men's talk. I hope you impress each other. Hey, look at me. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. You'll do fine. Fine at what? Some gimp work for the Pegarinos. I owed them. Oh, please. I do it myself, but I think I'm being watched by the cops. Someone. I think I'm about to get pinched again. Shit, really? Yeah, it's happened before. I keep seeing the same car watching. All it means is someone's been speaking, we just have to find out who and make them stop. In the meantime, i chill things out for a bit. So, I need your help. Okay. boy. Come on, I got something to show you. Now, Pegorino's a funny guy. Seems like his main motivation is putting his Guernsey crew on par with the five old families. Ancelotti's being the weakest, he's decided to stir shit up for him. 
Now, the Ancelotis have an uneasy alliance with some Albanians. They use them as hitmen, thugs, bullies. I know the type. Much like Jimmy the Guido uses us. So, what you're gonna do is disguise yourself as an Albanian and then go whack Frankie Garone, an Ancelotti longtime capo. Sure. Which Albanian? Uh, this one. Scumbag! Tony Black didn't do nothing to nobody who didn't deserve it! What the fuck? We're going to the mattresses for sure! the Albanian you got on ice.
Take you. I want to go to Strower Avenue. You got it? I know a fun way to go. Here we are. Thank you. Touch, Nikki.
Catch you, Fred! like a good idea when I grabbed the truck. Wanted. 
Bill, man, I got that thing you were after. What do you want me to do with it? It's a wedding present from my nephew, Frank. Take it out to the big house for a fever at Abby. You know the one I need. Let me wait here. Hey, you Frankie. Your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we can ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. Your nephew's got his wedding present. Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something special. Hopefully he'll look after it. Nico, you looking for more work? I'm always looking to earn a bit of extra cash. Great. I know a guy who needs a man like you. Only operates on an outside line, though. Go to the payphone on the corner of Vitulo and Hardtack. He'll call you. I'm robbing you. I don't want to kill you. What are you doing? Where to? I want to go to... Here we are. Thank you. Nico, I told Jimmy P about you. He wants to meet you. Has he got work? Yeah. He's got stuff that needs doing. Head over to his house off of Beaverhead and Westside. What's up, money? Hey. Man. Business is tough. Now, I ain't a cold person. I, I mean, I am cold, but... Motherfucker. What are you talking about? You want a drink? Uh, man, have a seat, man. All right. Now, I got into this dope gang because it was the only thing that was open to me, man. The only thing, man. Hey, I am not judging. No, listen. Now, I paid my dues. Now, I learned in a hard school, man. And I changed stuff. You know me. I do this stuff so I got a chance to do some good in this town. So you say. So I say. So I do. When I get the money, man, I will build parks. I will sponsor kids. I will save lives. But I got to have the money, man. Because all this, all this, it means nothing if you ain't got the heart, Nico. Amen, brother. <laughs> I mean, fuck, man. Fuck. The thing is, you know, Jesus, he did some crazy shit, too. I mean, everyone does. He killed people. He killed that John the Baptist cat. He did what he had to. I don't think you're correct about that. Man, the point is, man, 
history is a long time. And you only got one chance. And Dwayne, man, Dwayne, it's like he thinks it's 1992, and the best that you can hope for is a gold chain and a pager. You know, he looks at me like he wants me dead. Now, I took care of business. I gave him money, but because I won't bow down to him and treat him like he the almighty, motherfucker wants to pop me. Dwayne is a little troubled. He was in prison a long time. Maybe you guys should talk. No, I tried talking. No, I... I tried giving him half of the business. I tried everything a man could reasonably try and still call himself a man. <laughs> so what you gonna do? Kill him? Hey, I didn't say that. Man, you cold. I was joking. But what else is there? I mean, Cash been talking. Now I hear things. Said you and me was too tight now. Said you disrespected him. Called him mad. He's going crazy. I mean, he's gone. Prison does that. Well, you can't kill him. Nope. But you can. But I don't want to. Well, neither do I, man. But if he goes insane, we all dead anyway. I mean, Dwayne is a killer. Ah. I don't like this conversation. But do you think that I do? But it's kill or be killed out there. You got a lunatic after you? Man, you dumb. <coughs> now, I will give you a lot of money. Because see me? Now, I ain't scared of no one. But a motherfucker says he's going to kill me, the motherfucker's going to die. Huh. Man, I'm not sure. I got to think about it. Well, I hope you see some sense. I will be in touch. Where you want to go? So, we're going to Mahesh Avenue, got it? On our way. Uh, don't play with the windows. Okay, here we are, bucko. 